Hey guys, Luis from Phone Arena here. In this video, we're going to check out six alternatives to the official Android apps of some popular online services that you might be using every day. Number one, Tinfoil for Facebook. Tinfoil is a wrapper for Facebook's web app version. It's designed to serve those users that require a figurative tinfoil hat when logging in to Facebook. The way the app works, it creates a sandbox for Facebook's mobile site in order to protect your privacy and to prevent others from tracking your browsing history. Number 2. OpenJer OpenJer is an open source imager client for Android. Its list of features includes a material design interface, a meme generator, native GIF and GIF video support, tagging, photo and album uploads, imager, account support, and mosaic support, among other things. The app is free and ad-free. Number 3. Imagine for Instagram. Imagine is a material design Instagram client with landscape and tablet support. Save for lacking support for notifications and direct messages due to the limitations of the Instagram API, Imagine provides photo and video upload, feed viewing, posts and likes, search for users and tags, browsing for followers and popular posts. The premium version of Imagine has additional features, namely ad removal, switching between multiple accounts, unlimited reposts, a dark theme, and viewing nearby posts. Number 4. Relay for Reddit Relay for Reddit makes for a fun way to browse Reddit, the so-called front page of the internet. Whether you're a casual lurker, a power user, or even a moderator, Relay has what it takes to serve you. The app features an intuitive material design inspired interface, inline previewing of pictures, YouTube, GIFs and HTML5 videos, power coded comments with navigation, moderator features, a selection of themes and plenty of other reddit centric stuff. The app has a free and pro version. Number 5. MyCloud Player MyCloud Player is among the best SoundCloud clients with its Chromecast, UPnP DLNA and Last.fm support. Bear in mind though, from version 13 onwards, this app will not allow caching or downloading of any tracks or content from SoundCloud itself. Regardless, MCP's basic features include Chromecast support with continuous playback, search for tracks, sets, users and groups, listening to user-created stations, exploring music by various criteria, shuffle and repeat modes, an equalizer and playlist, a playback control widget, a remote media button, automatic play pause options, search suggestions, voice search and they even threw in 3 built-in themes. Mind you, that's just the basic list of features. And finally, we have number 6, Ace for Twitch. Ace for Twitch gives out the full Twitch experience. You can watch Twitch live streams, highlights and past broadcasts on your mobile device, Chromecast, Kodi and even some smart TVs. You can also chat and manage your follow channels inside the new Twitch client while getting push notifications straight on your phone. Ace for Twitch also lets you use your favorite video players to watch Twitch content in crisp quality or connect your Twitch account to watch restricted streams and participate in the chat. Well, that was it folks. I hope these apps will be useful for you. This is Luis from Phone Arena. Check out our website and YouTube channel for more interesting content.